a brief history of time. If you find any addition, any at all, I will be your friend, like, forever. Hey, Dad. Want to hear a poem I wrote? It's called a haiku. I just read about them. A haiku, huh? Well, sounds exciting. Let's hear it. Okay. It's called Space. <coughs> space is cold and dark. Starships fly there like comets, carrying us home. It's not bad. Hey, will you write it down so I can carry a copy with me? I'll copy down, too. You know how you lose things. I still don't know how you lost that picture of Nibbles the Comet-Eating Bunny.
<laughs> We're in orbit, Captain. Spinning down. Jump up. Seals are entering United Colony space. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. All right, we're done. You're cleared to land at New.
lacking my concentration here. Need some work done? Sure, how about it? How about it? Nothing for us to do, if you're in good flying condition. I'm sure you can find something you like. achieved.
acknowledged. You're clear to dock at docking port one. The commander will be waiting for you in operations. Yes. What? I bet operations on the key are a clown show. Yo. Back. So how did it go? Frankly, it's because we've never gotten this far before. The last agent I sent to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet ended up in a morgue on New Atlantis. Even with our best intelligence equipment, we can monitor very little from the Vigilance. We can pick up local communications chatter and use long-range scans to see where you travel. But when you're on the ground, you're on your own. If we get too close, we not only expose ourselves to an attack, but we might blow your cover, and that could get everyone killed. Then things are moving forward. Perfect. Nice job, Rook. I was certain we'd fool Delgado, but never. She's a sharp one. Overcoming her scrutiny is no small matter. Did you discover anything worth reporting yet? If the intelligence I've read is accurate, Delgado is a charismatic leader, but a bit short on judgment. That's why you want to stay on his good side, and stay away from Neva. She's shrewd, and she, she sniffed out everything we've thrown her way. I understand your concern, but you can rest assured that every member of this crew has been thoroughly vetted by both myself and Lieutenant Toft. Any information that you turn over will not be leaving this ship until it's fully encrypted and encoded. I give you my word. Legacy. Why does that sound familiar? Wait a moment. Are you telling me Delgado may have actually located Crix's legacy? I suppose it's possible, sir. Intelligence picked up a bit of chatter on that subject recently. We assumed it was some sort of tall tale or a story to attract recruits to their cause. Well, let's find out if Delgado is chasing ghosts. Or he's smarter than we suspect. Let me see what we have here. Nope. There are no records of a gal bank transport named the legacy in the database. <laughs> I think Delgado's trying to manipulate you. What do you think, sir? I think there's no record because gal bank is hiding something. Delgado's no fool. If he risked his own neck to get that information, then he must be on to something. We have to take this seriously. What's your next move? That one's simple. We monitored your ships heading down to the surface of Suvorov. In fact, when he returned to the quay and you didn't immediately follow, well, we almost thought our operation was terminated. Can you imagine the amount of embarrassment Galbank would have to endure if they listed a lost transport in the sh ship registry? Doesn't matter if that ship went down five or five hundred years ago. If news gets out that a bank has misplaced money, it would tank their value. Clever, Delgado. Very clever. If I were in your place, I'd be trying to do the exact same thing. We can't let Delgado get his hands on what could potentially turn out to be the largest haul of credits the Crimson Fleet's ever seen. Maybe I should head out to New Atlantis, sir. I could press the Galbank execs for information. Get ahead of everything. No. Let's allow this to run its course. We have our agent here feeding us information. I think that's good enough for now. 
There's more to this than just finding the location of the transport. Jasper Cricks was clever. For some reason, he never got there. Because the Crimson Fleet would be a totally different adversary, and Cricks wouldn't have disappeared years ago. Even if they hid the money with that damn human computer, Shinya Voss, our forensic accounting people would have found that data. No, the Crimson Fleet are in dire shape right now. They ha haven't seen that much currency, well, ever. And let Neva Mora take his place, or Shinya Voss, or any one of a number of pirates already gunning for his position. No. The solution is to stick to the undercover operation and determine how much of this is tr truly a credible threat. It's imperative that you do. If the Crimson Fleet gets its hands on a transport full of currency, it would be disastrous for the settled systems. I need you to do whatever you can to bring us more information. And for God's sake, don't kill anyone on that Starliner. You're both dismissed. I do for you. Well done. Let's see. It's amazing that all this romantic nonsense about Crix's legacy really just amounts to a rumor Jasper Crix picked up in jail. It just goes to show you how a tiny rumor can snowball into a full-blown fairy tale. Have any more? Okay, fine, fine. I know there's more out there, so keep on it. They're pirates in every sense of the word, but they've managed to get more organized under their current leadership. That makes them especially dangerous, but hopefully it makes them a little more predictable, too. We'll provide you with information, but any inventory or ship services, it's best you get from the fleet. It'll help you maintain your cover and also give you an idea of how the fleet's operation works. Two reasons. First, Commander Akande's playing this operation extremely close to the vest. That means keeping prisoners under his own roof until this is resolved. Second, this is an undercover mission. For our safety and yours, we need to keep these prisoners out of the spotlight. Not really, no. I've learned to keep my personal experiences separate from the job. Don't get me wrong, I appreciate that you care. It's just that I don't feel like now's an appropriate time to be discussing these things. Let's just stick to the job at hand and concentrate on the mission. But uh, maybe we can talk about it some other time, okay? Let me know if you need anything else. Heard you boarded the key. I can't imagine what state the pirates are in. Commander Ikande is the heart and soul of UC system. Yes, of course. I almost forgot. So long.
Well, tell me the time you showed up. All right, I want to know what's going on. I've been trying to get Delgado's attention for, oh, I don't know, three years now. And what do I get? Nothing but radio silence. Then out of nowhere, just when Neva and I are closing in on a huge score of our own, Delgado orders me to help you out. Yeah, I figured you'd say something like that. Just another one of Delgado's loyal little soldiers, huh? Fine, have it your way. So Neva's message said you were here for Dombrowski. Was that all she sent you here to do? Or was there something else you were sent here to steal? Don't play games with me. We both know pinging a message back and forth to the key is going to take longer than we have to do this job. We're supposed to be working together on every, every part of this. So, you're gonna tell me what else you're here for or not? Hmm, okay. So why are you targeting a gall bank exec anyway? Not exactly your average Crimson Fleet prey. Why the interest? Merchant vessels, transports, supply convoys, mining settlements, you get the picture. But taking on a megacorp, that's a really big deal. Something the Crimson Fleet stayed away from in the past. Sounds to me like Delgado's either getting desperate, or this is leading to an even bigger score down the road. Playing it safe for now, okay. I can respect that. But let's make one thing clear. If I'm gonna stick my neck out by helping you get near Dombrowski, I want something in return. Well, well, it appears we have a mind reader here. You're absolutely right. I don't want money. I want back into the Crimson Fleet. It's as simple as that. You'd better, or you're gonna have to find another gal bank executive. As long as Dombrowski's on the ship, he's all mine. All right, all right. See, that wasn't so hard, was it? Now, let's talk business. Dombrowski's a full-timer aboard the Siren of the Stars. Probably spends more time cruising the, the space lanes than actually working. Fortunately, the Siren is hosting the Tehran Preservation Society charity gala. Larry won't be able to resist showing off his VIP clout. To get what you need, you're gonna have to attend the gala, talk to his fellow philanthropists, and dig up some dirt. Yeah, well, lucky for you, it's not black tie, so you'll be fine. This card will allow you to access the Starview Ballroom. If you need my help, I'll be relaxing in one of the upper level lounges. Head inside and mingle with the crowd. No one likes Dombrowski's, so they'll be more than happy to share his dirty secrets. He's a VIP executive, which means he either worked really, really hard using blood, sweat, and tears to make the arduous climb to the top, or he backstabbed, lied, cheated, and betrayed his way up the corporate ladder. From what I've heard, it's the second option. Now, now you're speaking my language. Oh, there's one last thing. Dryden equips all of their Starliners with the latest acoustic threat detection. Meaning that you lose patience and kill anyone aboard the ship, security will be alerted and all hell will break loose. Anyway, I suppose that's enough to get you started. Good luck.
They claim their goal is to celebrate the soul of the Earth, the culture, the people, and the ideals of the past. In their minds, Earth is now dead, which is why they feel that preservation of its remaining aspects is so important. In reality, this is what happens when folks with far too much time and far too much money get together to make themselves feel like they're contributing to society. You seriously need to ask? Okay, I'll give you two reasons. First, Gold Bank protects their own. Kill Dombrowski, and they send Ecliptic after every Crimson Fleet ship they can find. Not something they'll gotta want, I suspect. And second, you up a Gal Bank employee in every single Gal Bank facility in the settled systems will triple their security. I'm gonna guess that one can help with whatever your plans are regarding Gal Bank, now will it? What the hell? When I asked you earlier, you said you weren't here for anything else. Not only did you lie to me, but now you're telling me that you she sent you after the award alone? Yeah? And I suppose it's just a, a coincidence you happen to be asking me about the very thing Neva and I agreed to steal together. I can't believe she's trying to cut me out of this deal. Without me, the award never would have ended up here in the first place. She told you to hold that over my head, did she? Oh, that witch. Fine, I'll help. But you're doing all the legwork, and I'm still taking my cut of the payout. So tell me, what's the status of your plan? Okay, then let me point you to the person in charge of the award. Her name's Sheila Holbrook, and you can probably find her in the Starview Bowl. I'd press her to reveal where the award's hidden, and we can go from there. And if you're thinking of pulling the trigger on poor Miss Holbrook, remember that any gunfire is gonna set off the ship's alarms. Oh, and while you're at the gala, avoid the canopies. They're frozen, not fresh. Between you and me, the best part of my job is getting a crack at all the leftovers. An open bar would have been nice, but Trident's gouging us for every credit we've got. It is critical that the society keeps the memories of Earth alive in our hearts. I'm doing my part by attending this spectacular event. Dumbrowski is married to some poor woman that he constantly leaves behind in New Atlantis when he goes on his business trips. Well, apparently, the award is so valuable, there's only one in existence. It gets passed to a new winner every year. Is this about that feature SSN and ran a few years ago? I can assure you, 
This is a legitimate charity organization. Mm, could we talk about something else? The society was founded about eight years ago by Carl S. A. Worthington, a prominent businessman from New Atlantis. The society is such a worthy cause. What could be more important than the preservation of the Earth spirit? I honestly don't really know anything else about the award. I've already told you do everything I know about him. Donations to the society can be debited from my bank account on a monthly basis. I barely have to lift a finger to help. Not much, other than the fact that they host these wonderfully entertaining gala events every month. When you join, they send you a small chunk of rock from the Earth itself. I keep mine on my desk. I'm a silver member of the society, but only a hundred thousand more credits, and I hit the gold tier. Don't forget to donate to the cause. That view is at the... Have you tried the canopies? Horrid. Posit. You don't necessarily have to be wealthy to contribute, though the minimum donation level is 5,000 credits. It's a shame that the Earth ended in such a sorry state. But I'm glad the Society has the nerve to do something about it. I'm a Silver member of the Society, but only a hundred thousand more credits, and I hit the Gold Tier. When you join, they send you a small chunk of rock from the Earth itself. I keep mine on my desk. It's critical that the Society keeps the memory of Earth alive in our heart. All I know is that the award is given to whomever contributed the most to the preservation of Earth as a historic landmark. Do we really need to go? Larry likes to drop overly complex words into conversations. I'm sure he knows that it annoys people, but he does it anyway. Besides what I already told you? No. Enjoy the rest of the event. Quite a lovely Starliner. Nothing but the best for the Society, huh? The Society Chair has really outdone her. Larry has an A-level executive rating over at Galbank, which means he has access to everyone's accounts at the touch of a button. Haven't we all... It's for the Society's high rollers. If you don't have more than eight figures in your account, I wouldn't even bother going after the award. You don't necessarily have to be wealthy to... Nice to have met you. Hello. Are you a member of the society? I certainly hope they decide oh. to hold all future society... Let's put it this way. He screwed over so many people. If he suddenly disappeared from the universe, I don't think anyone would miss him. Sheila Holbrook is chair of the award committee this year. The way she... It's critical that the society keeps the memories. The society is such a worthy... That's all then? Okay. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Yes, he's some kind of a top dog over at Galbank. I heard he replaced someone that was caught running a fake moon scam. Sheila Holbrook is chair of the award committee this year. The society is such a worthy... Hmm. Well, that was boring. So, what's Prince you about? An open bar would have been nice, but tried and scourging. He's been spending a lot of time with Claudia Swist. Quality time, if you catch my meaning? I'm certain his wife doesn't know a thing about it. Sheila Holbrook is chair of the O. The society was founded about eight years ago. 
Hmm. Well, that was boring. Have you tried the canopies? Horrid. That view Positively is... horrid. He's been spending a lot of time with Claudia Swist. Quality time, if you catch my meaning. Sheila Holbrook is chair of the awards committee. I'm a silver member of the society. Nice to have met you. Here for business? What a pleasure. I certainly hope they decide to hold all future to make society your events aboard a Starliner. He's been spending a lot of time with Claudius... Sheila Holbrook. That's all then? Okay. Quite a lovely Starliner. Nothing but the best. Right? Is this important? I don't have a lot of time for idle nonsense. Yes, I'm extremely busy preparing for the award ceremony, so this better be important. Probably in a few days. I don't want the award transfer to actually occur until we're safely in orbit at our destination. Of course, if I keep getting interrupted, the ceremony might never take place at all. Yes, I am. Actually, I've been entrusted with the transfer of the award for the last seven of its nine years. Why do you ask? Well, the Earth Savior Award is one of a kind. The Blue Diamonds alone are irreplaceable. Since we can't produce a new award every year, it's instead passed from one recipient to the next. I supervise the transfer and make certain that there's ample security during transport and at the destination. Forget it. I refuse to have a repeat of last year's fiasco where the name leaked early and started a common brawl. The winner's name is safely sealed away with the award itself inside the master safe located at the purser's office. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have much more important things on my agenda than to speak to the likes of you. The ship's purser can assist you with any matters regarding the security of the drive. Do I know you? Okay, wait, are you seriously... Uh, are you trying to pick me up? Look, uh, I appreciate the compliment, but I'm already seeing someone. And my partner doesn't like competition. He gets very jealous. His wife? Uh, oh, for the love of God. I told Larry to keep his big mouth shut, but did he listen? No. He had to impress his friends and treat me like a trophy. Look, I've been in this business for a long time, and I know how this game works, so let's skip all the banter and get it over with. What's it gonna take to make us both happy? If I give you dirt on that son of a bitch Dombrowski, all I'm doing is endangering myself. Why would I do that? I'd love to see that man suffer. That's true. You have come this far already.
Honestly, this whole scheme has left a pit in my stomach since day one. All right, you've made your point. You know, this whole thing really pisses me off. Larry and I had the perfect scheme where thousands of credits it's all worked out. And then he goes and flushes the whole thing down the toilet. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting to that. Larry got together with myself and this other guy, Gabriel Vera. He's some big wig over at UC Security. I doctored the transactions, Larry wiped them off the system, and Vera kept the legal pressure off of us. We were scamming Galbank for months. It was going well until I discovered Larry was cheating everyone by changing each transaction in his favor before deleting them. I wish I had some. Maybe you should try talking to Gabriel Vera. He should be around here somewhere. If he doesn't want to cooperate, just mention my name. That should grab his attention. Good luck. You're gonna need it. I wrote a computer algorithm that basically creates a randomized number of false ghost credits that mimic the crypto key of actual credits. Then the algorithm simply passes the ghost credits to whatever legit transfers that the bank transacts. The genuine credits enter a dummy account. The best part is that I also alter the crypto keys as the real cash flows into our accounts. By the time it lands in our pockets, the credits are clean. So, on paper, it appears that all of the bank's transactions are covered, when it's really just our ghosted dummy creds. <laughs> Genius, right? What do you think is going on? I'm using that gullible idiot to get what I want. If I have to squash him on my way to the top, then so be it. Let's get one thing straight. Larry Dombrowski's no saint. He deserves everything that's coming to him. Oh, oh, I'm beyond rage. And if you've been as close to him as I have, you'd agree. Dombrowski is a piece of human garbage. He'd stab you in the back for table scraps, then stab you again to steal dessert. The plan's always been to milk the guy for everything he's worth and then leave him in the dust. Not bad for a lowly Galbank worker drone, right? What, are you writing a damn novel? <sighs> Fine. Vera works for UC Security, so he kept a lookout on their comnet for any Galbank chatter. I guess you could call him our early warning system. And Dombrowski made sure that all of the crypto manipulation I was working on didn't turn up in Gal Bank's automatic audits. You need top clearance for that kind of access, so we had to cut him in, whether we liked it or not. I hope you hurt Dombrowski. Nail his ass right to the wall. On behalf of Trident Luxury Lines, I'd like to welcome you aboard. Welcome to the purser's office. I'm Chief Purser Murata. How can I be of assistance today? Oh, absolutely! The safe is magnetically sealed and shielded with multiple layers of fully damage-resistant, vacuum-proof plating. In an unlikely event, our vessel is boarded and the threat detection alarm is triggered. The safe will be permanently sealed until it reaches port. In the even more unlikely event, this ship is destroyed. We can assure you that your loved ones will be able to recover your goods from the wreckage. So, as you can imagine, your property will be completely secure until you decide to retrieve them from our safe. An excellent question. My responsibilities include all of the Siren's financial, customs, and commercial goods transfers. Honestly, I really enjoy the work. 
I get to meet people at every port of call instead of being constantly stuck below decks. I've only seen it briefly myself, but I can assure you that it's quite lovely. Unfortunately, the item is locked inside of our safe, which can only be accessed by presenting an appropriate claim ID. Is there anything else I can assist you with today? Well, if you change your mind, I'll be here. Have a wonderful trip. I'm sorry, it's against Trident policy to discuss our personal feelings towards a fellow crewmate. I don't want to lose my job. Why should I tell you? I'd like to tell you, I really would. I hope I, I can trust you. I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. All right, but you didn't hear this from me. Do you understand? I don't want to lose my job. I like Captain Rokov, but I think he's mixed up with some very dangerous people. I was bringing some paperwork to his quarters one day, and I found a slate with a message he received from someone named Delgado. That would normally be fine, but the message mentions the Crimson Fleet as in pirates. Can you believe it? If you want to grab it, the slate should still be in his quarters somewhere. Have a safe journey. I'm sorry, but unless you're reporting a securing situation, I need to get back to my duties. Must you continue these unwelcome interruptions? I'm a very busy woman. Excuse me? And why in goodness name would I do something as foolish as that? And why in goodness name would I possibly agree to that ridiculous demand? I mean, it might be okay. Maybe we can work something out. I'd like to think so. Oh, just take the damn thing already. Listen, maybe you can keep this between us. If the award goes missing, there's no need for the insurance company to get involved. Please remain in designated passenger areas at all times. Have a safe journey. The society chair has really outdone herself this time. Hello. You here for the charity event? Oh, absolutely. I'm a firm believer that attending these types of events tends to absolve one of their sins and cleanse their soul. 
But something tells me you're not really here to discuss the event. What did you really want to talk about? Dombrowski, uh, he's the exec holding court over in the VIP area of the ballroom. Yeah, sorry, I work for UC Security, not Galbank. I don't really know him personally. Claudia sent you, did she? Look, friend, I don't know if you're just a little drunk, maybe a touch crazy, or both. Whatever you think you know about me, you're dead wrong. So back off. Worried? Why should I be worried? Anything you try to report will boil down to your word against mine. And since I work for UC Security, who do you think people will believe? Get the hell away from me before I have you arrested. Hello? Are you a member of the society? I saw your little exchange with Vera. Keep that up and I guarantee that Embassar's gonna demand that you be arrested. Oh, absolutely. He's up the ladder at UC Security. Lots of pull. We have to handle this very delicately. No, it certainly didn't. But at least we know you've caught him on the back foot. There's clearly something going on between Vera, Swiss, and Dombrowski. But we need hard evidence to use it to our advantage. The problem is he's not gonna talk to you in public. We need to get Vera isolated so he'll spill everything he knows. Maybe. But if something goes wrong, and he's able to raise an alarm we're sunk. With all of these wealthy patrons aboard, the ship is crawling with security. Smart. If there's an emergency, standard practice is for all passengers to clear the decks and report to their cabins for lockdown. I think the best chance we have would be to temper with the life support sensors. Manipulate a few controls, and you can fool the monitoring system into thinking there's a, a life support failure. And there you have your emergency. This is one of Trident's premier Starliners. That means it has the best of everything. Including a triple redundancy life support system. They installed a backup with a backup. Luckily for us, it will still trip an emergency, and everyone will have to return to their quarters until I sound the all clear. Which I won't. Don't worry. It'll be as easy as it was mingling with the guests at the party. Just throw a few lousy switches and you're done. One more thing. If Chief Engineer Sundin gives you any trouble, tell him I'll erase that gambling debt he owes me. I prefer you use that as a last resort, but hey, what's the harm in losing a few credits when I'm on the brink of rejoining the fleet, right? Anyway, I better start backing. Things are getting hot around here, and won't be long before Trident figures out you had help. On the surface, he's an upstanding citizen of the United Colonies, pretty high up in UC security. Lots of clout with mast. Underneath is a greedy piece of garbage. Give it the chance he'd backstab you for a cred stick and pin the murder on someone else. Come to think of it, if he wasn't such a petty tyrant, he'd probably thrive with the Crimson Fleet. There's access to the crew section that you can reach through the uh, Starview Bowl. Chief Sundin should be there, wasting time the station as usual. Have fun with that guy. He's a real piece of work. Once you're past Sandy, just look for the room marked environmental control. Everything you need is inside.
All passengers are instructed to immediately report to their cabins. That way we keep the halls clear and avoid a panic. Fortunately for us, all of the passenger cabin doors will automatically unlock. This is normally to ensure the crew can check cabins quickly and without interference. But in our case, it's like having an all-access pass. Get back to it. instructions. Have you tried the canapes? Horrid. Positive horrid. I certainly hope that you're trying to hold all of you Jesus like you. limits to passengers. Wait a second. You're Captain Rokov's guest, right? Didn't expect to see you down here. Sorry to give you trouble. What can I do for you? Yeah, a little. A few of the techs call this deck the dungeon. <laughs> I think you can see why. Not exactly Starliner class comfort down here. Don't get me wrong. The quiet gives me time to gather my thoughts, catch up on work, and all that, but I'd rather work on the bridge. I'm the Siren's chief engineer. Trident put me in charge of the entire tech team. We do our best to keep the ship running smoothly and efficiently. Of course, this beauty is a cutting-edge piece of spacecraft design. Almost everything has triple redundancy, like the life support system. Unfortunately, that means there's quite a bit of downtime. Could be worse, though, right? Oh, uh, sorry, that area's off limits. No exceptions. Yeah, that'd be nice. I'm so bored down here. I've been counting the deck plates just to take up some time. Tell you what, I'm just going to step out for a bit and stretch my legs. Maybe you can hold this for me while I'm away. I'm the Siren's chief engineer. 
Trident put me in charge of the entire tech team. We do our best to keep the ship running smoothly and efficiently. Of course, this beauty is a cutting edge piece. Unfortunately, that means there's... Yeah, a little. A few of the techs go, don't get me wrong. Honestly, he's a seasoned ship captain. He told me he... Only thing is, he's always talking about trade deals and plans for... Why he decided to be a Starliner captain, I'll never know. It's almost like he craves being around money. Tell you what, though, for someone that loves credit so much, he sure doesn't mind. Whatever you do, don't break anything, or I'll be out of a job. are being asked to return to their cabins at this time. I was wondering if you were the cause of the shipwide emergency. It's time you stop playing games and tell me why you're here. You want me to help you? Are you completely out of your mind? I help you by handing over evidence and I end up incriminating myself. Why would I do that? Oh, Don't act so surprised. You didn't really think I'd make a deal with Claudio Dombrowski about having a little insurance policy of my own, did you? Huh? If I've learned anything in my years at the corporate fraud division, it's always have an exit strategy. Claudius said that. You sure? Damn it! That means my money's already gone. And Dombrowski's going to walk away with a fortune. I'd love to see the bastard fry. But if I give you that information and it falls into the wrong hands, I could end up in jail. Oh, I've got everything you're gonna need. This is a one-stop shop for you. We're talking a slate loaded with dates, account numbers, ID scans, even an audio recording. 
It was my little insurance policy in case the shit hit the fan. There's a solid enough trail here to send Dombrowski straight to jail. Dombrowski had the authorization to wipe out records on Galbank's system without raising any red flags. I let Claudia talk me into that. She said she had him wrapped around her finger. Apparently, she was wrong. At least I walk away with something. All right, you have yourself a deal. Here, with this slate and this recording to tie it all together, you'll be able to nail his ass to the wall. He'll do whatever you want. Just remember that you promised to leave me out of it. All passengers. Well, since Claudia has been spending time disgustingly close to Dombrowski, I think she's suffered enough. Please On the other hand, I've got very, very special plans for Larry. I have some friends that can, well, let's just say, take care of the problem. That's if you leave him alive, of course. We'll just have to wait and see. You better tell Dombrowski to run, because if you don't kill him, I will. This ship is in a state of emergency. Please return to your cabin immediately. Our security team would appreciate if you'd please shelter in your cabin during... The Siren of the Stars is now in emergency status. Please remain calm and proceed to your cabin. Well, well. You must be the one who's been accosting Claudia and Gabriel. I'm uncertain what you hope to accomplish here, but it appears we should rapidly enter into some sort of negotiation. You don't actually believe that I'd venture into such precarious criminal territory without a proper bird's eye view of the situation, do you? I'm uncertain why you've become entangled in this spider's web, but this situation demands swift and resolute action. And remain there until you receive further instructions. Excellent, excellent. So, before we begin, let's review the facts. First, it's clear that you've obtained insider knowledge of my arrangement to defraud Galbank. The means and the method, perhaps, but not the motive. And second, I'm going to hypothesize that my compatriots are despondent regarding their share and have assisted you with this endeavor, hmm? Since we're speaking and I'm not at the reporting end of a bullet, this leads me to conclude that you desire something personal from me. I see. Well, that certainly places a damper on our negotiations. Perhaps I can hasten my diatribe to temper your violence-ridden contribution. In blunt terms, you have compromising materials about me in your possession. The only thing I have to offer in return are my Galbank credentials. I assume that's what you've been angling for all along? Well, I'm surprised you even posed that question at all. The answer is quite all obvious. Passengers. The last thing I want to do at this please. point is call attention to the myself. Captain has declared a ship-wide emergency. Obviously, that please wouldn't be my preference, but I have little choice. Hmm? Though, Larry Dombrowski will be mysteriously vanishing after this cruise, and possession of the credentials becomes ludicrous at that point.
Oh, it was actually a rather easy deduction to make. It's the only thing of significant value that I still have in my possession. Oh, it appears we've reached an accord. And may I say, it was a pleasure conversing with an intellectual equal. Oh, of course I trust you'll understand if I ask for us to avoid any further contact. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to formulate how I'm going to utterly ruin two very annoying business associates. Good day. There's no cause for alarm. I'm sure this is just a minor malfunction or a drill. The Siren of the Stars is now in emergency status. All passengers are being asked to return to their cabins at this time. Well, looks like everything worked out, just like we planned. I'm glad you feel that way. Just remember to tell Delgado how much I pitched in to help. You know, I'm still wondering exactly what you needed those credentials for. You feel like telling me, partner? Ah, so he told you to keep it from me. I see. I wouldn't want you to risk your position with the fleet like I did, so I'll just leave All it. All passengers. May anyway, I, I suppose there's please. nothing stopping me from rejoining. The captain has now. declared a It's been a long time. Emergency. Please I report to you your cabins in an orderly fashion and remain there until you receive further instructions. Don't worry, it's not an insult. It's a old Russian word for comrade. It's what I intend to call you from now on, so get used to it. Nonsense. If there's one universal constant you can depend on, it's that Yevgeny Rokov always makes good on his deals. Always. Well, I suppose this is where we part company. Hopefully the next time we meet, we'll be aboard the key.
There's no cause for alarm. I'm sure this is just a minor malfunction or a drill. Haven't you gotten enough out of me already? Someone shut down the primary life support system. Go Wouldn't it take a while to get it back online? Don't worry. This ship is equipped with two backups for the life support system. Shut down the life support. Chief Sandin is going to be pissed. I'm a little busy. Can you see that there's an emergency?
Shipwide emergency. Can't talk right now. Sorry. I'm a little busy. Can't you see there's an emergency? Who the hell shut down the life support? Chief Sandin is going to be pissed. Someone shut down the primary life support system. Going to take a while to get it back online. <laughs> Shipwide emergency. Can't talk right now. Sorry. Don't worry. This ship is equipped with two backups for the life support system. Everything will be fine. I'm a little busy. Can't you see that there's an emergency? Passengers, may I have your attention, please? The captain has declared a ship-wide emergency. Please report to your cabins in an orderly fashion and remain there until you receive further instructions. Now what? Captain.